е стар да бургония как е мой морфон. The Grand Dukes of the West. For decades, the Dukes of Burgundy have been embroiled in a bloody struggle over control of the mad French king using their cunning military prowess and immense wealth. However, as the blood that they spill is paid for with blood of their own, their focus turns increasingly northwards as they aim to create a kingdom of their own. Tomorrow, when Joan of Arc burns at the stake, I want you to watch carefully. Not the young woman in the flames, but the men who sentenced her to burn. The English will carry out the sentence, but when nothing but her ashes remains, it is the Grand Duke of the West, our Duke of Burgundy, that will have seized a triumph. For you see, this spectacle is not really about the Maid of Orléans. Her death is only as important as the benefit that it brings us. What burns on that pyre is not Joan the person, but La Pucelle, the symbol of the French resistance. You are young, my son. You have never seen our duchy as anything but a powerful state. But we were not always so mighty. In the greater tale of history, Burgundy is but a newborn power, carved from the lands of the kingdoms and empires that surround us. Our ascent began with John the Fearless, the father of our current duke. Up until then, the Dukes of Burgundy and the Armagnac faction had been equal rivals, fighting for influence at the court of the Mad King of France. Louis, the leader of the Armagnac faction, had been using the funds of the French crown for years to stifle John in any way possible. He also boasted of having bedded John's wife. Tiring of these insults, and Louis's abuse of royal influence, John decided to end their rivalry for good. Just three years into his reign, he sent 15 men to stab the Armagnac Duke to death on the streets of Paris in broad daylight. It was a true show of force. In one bloody act, John established himself as the most powerful Duke in France. The Armagnac faction, now leaderless, began preparing for a long war. To keep the Burgundians occupied, they supported a revolt in the city of Liège, which was ruled by John's brother-in-law, the Duke of Bavaria. John the Fearless would not let such unrest spoil his plans for the Grand Duchy. And so he marched his armies north to a small village outside Liège called Ote. Capture the city of Liège by destroying two out of its three castles. Burgundians are restricted to a population limit of 150 and are stuck in the castleway. Six villages that support the rebels are located in the vicinity. You can plunder their trade workshops, mills and markets for additional resources. You can trade with your ally for additional gold income, but ensure that your enemies do not wreak havoc on your trade. Routes John the Fearless has recruited siege engineers from the Flemish cities, whose expertise provides the Burgundians with the means to construct cap trams. John the Fearless and his army have assembled to the west, were accompanied by some villagers which can set up a camp. The city of Flesh is located to the southeast. The rebels will defend the city fiercely with skirmishers, spearmen and archers. As long as the city supply camps green remain intact, Liege will also make use of gunpowder units such as hand cannons and organ guns. On their Portuguese, huh? and interesting. Your ally, the Duke of Bavaria, has set up his camp to the north. Eager to take back Liege, the Duke will send heavy cavalry and monks into battle. Six nearby villages support the rebels in Liege, but are barely defended and can be easily plundered. Alright. 
are inciting the local population to take up arms and rebel. Let us put an end to this insubordination. I was wondering what's up with this uh, French king. Why did he? Did they call him the Met? Turns out he was psychotic, psychotic. How do you pronounce? He was uh, insane. Uh, yeah. We have one trade card. Trady, trady. Ensure that your trade routes are safe. Oh, hello, puppy. Come to papa. Come, let me snipe you. Do you have to survive? It doesn't specify, so in my book you are expendable. Alright, I hope the trade cards are passing this way. Yes, they are. Okay. We found some rebel camps. There is a hole here. What else there is? Pro fight. Damn it. Run. Evanse, harm. I come through. Etache, harm. Si. Evanse, harm. Ive. Evanse. Do this. Yeah, well, our guy did not survive, sadly. Okay, stop swacking. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Oh! Okay, let's not make fun of the guy, that's how he talks. Four, five, six, seven. Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. And another coin that we can spend as well. The most important is that we can spend it, not that the enemy cannot spend it. We will make good use of these resources. You see, perspective is very important. Oh, we can get Cavalier, we are born. Right, right. Ivan, Ivan, Here is Lesh. Yeah, we our ally. Green, we have to find and kill Green. Where's the army? Move army. It is past time to take back what is mine. Charge, my knights! Charge! For the evading for John the Fearless, join me! Well, 
so it would be useful if you kill this actually and not throw yourself at uh at Lesh. Bonjour, Ikuti, Ibati, Ha, Ha, Ibati, Ozorus, Ibati, Si, Si, Ibimin, Si, Ibimin, Evans, Etache, Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. Wow. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Castle here. Hope we don't provoke Liesh. Because if we do, we are screwed. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of Oh, Green is here. Let's go kill him. Get the pegs meat. Your nefarious enemies in Paris have renewed the charges against you for freeing France from this insane tyrant. Leave me alone. They seem not to take me seriously. I will show them. No more mercy. Well, you know what? If you want, if you want, no one. If you wanna be, if you wanna fight, we'll fight. I'm so stupid. Our duke has been wounded. Return them to the castle so that he can recover from his wounds. What man? Wow, almost lost our castle, which means we need the castle keyword. The murder holes. This. Don't let him. Don't let him let me. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Thank you, my man. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources.
No anything, anything else here? Let's go trash green first. I don't like these hand cannoneers. Oh, Liesh has a town center here. Wait, what's my population limit? 150. Minded rebels in Liège seem to think that our scouts would not discover their secret gunpowder depots. How wrong they are! Destroy the depots so the Liège rebels can no longer make use of their cannons. I don't think it is very secret. Village here and then go around. We come have here. destroyed one of the rebels' gunpowder stores, side. and we eviscerate him. Oh, we forgot murder holes. Best upgrade for the campaigns. Yeah, she's getting some gold there. I will provoke him if I attack him. I can't let him... I can't let you bro. Wow! Right enough, let's uh, oh, he'll kill my town center. Not universe Frank have organ guns. To overcome the walls of Liege, we will need siege weapons. It would be wise to start constructing some job. Well, I mean, Castle Age, what? 
Siege weapons do I build in Castle Age, Mr. Smart? Mr. Wise Man. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Every coin that we take is one less coin that our enemies can spend. There are many to be found in this market. Lumber and stone were stored in this trade workshop. We will make good use of these resources. Go fight, 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 fight. There goes the endless skiting and running around. But this stop chasing me around for fuck's sake. But how much, how many pikes does he have? Let's say one. Why? Not make it. Not make it. Uh, look, uh, just set them to end. And get the camp real quick. And just take it. What? The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. The grain that the villagers had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. The grain right, that the villagers enough. had stored in this mill will now feed the Burgundian army. Gunpowder depots are in ruins, sire. Without their cannons, the rebels will be an easier target. Was orders? Ishas. Hey, look now. What I will do to you? Ibati, Ibati. Let's eviscerate his town center. Town center number one. Oh, at least we get capture him, thankfully. 
I don't eat the castle, bro. These rounds are not welcome in my ally city, who's kinda useless. What the, what is he doing? What do you think you're doing, bro? Destroying my rounds with your rounds. Enough uh, cavaliers. Know what? I'm tired of your stuff. Go there. Start blasting this stuff. Ah, your army is coming this way. Go for the castle, go for the castle. Microphone again. Oh, he's gonna kill my ram. Oh, he didn't. Oh, here is the next castle. Okay, then you move that way. Kill some villagers. Union vineyards. Not a great tech, but hey. Can use everything we have. He has more stuff here. Let's kill him off. We can the ramps the ramps start working. You want to the you want to kill off Lear's population? Then I think I found the spot. Let's 
Yes, but what is the point of this objective? Them all. Wipe out their entire families while you are at it. Wow, so brutal. That being so brutal. The Battle of Ote was a decisive victory for John the Fearless. He rode in triumph to Paris, and his armies entered the city without a fight. The Armagnac plot had failed. <laughs> but since they had not openly waged war on him, John could not yet exact his revenge by force. Instead, John had the 15-year-old son of the deceased duke brought before him. Still mourning the death of his father, the boy was forced to forgive his father's murderer in public. A cruel act, you say? And that it was. But remember, my son, that cruelty was not John's goal, only a means to an end. By orchestrating this public display, John showed not just the boy, but the entire house of Armagnac on their knees, kissing his feet. It was one insult too many for the proud Armagnacs. And the struggle between the two factions would soon turn into open war. The fun scenario, but not very difficult. Yo, the game's over. You can you can relax now. Alright, that's it for the first scenario, thank you for watching and see you the next time, have a nice day.